Hello everyone and welcome to the Dice Commando YouTube channel. I'm Andrew with you here as always. This is Go Again, a fabulous video cast covering the trading card game Flesh and Blood. This video and others like this one are possible thanks to viewers like you. Please show your support with a like and subscribe and be sure to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss any new videos. If you want to get involved with the channel, consider becoming a channel member. There are many benefits to channel membership including access to our Discord, exclusive deck tech and strategy videos, and the opportunity to help create channel content. I want to sincerely thank all our channel members, as I truly couldn't do this without your support. You guys rock. Go Commando! Hello everyone, welcome to Dice Commando and Go Again, a fabulous cast. So it's been an interesting uh, 12 to 18 hours or so. Yesterday I posted a news video talking about a couple things in uh, Flesh and Blood over the last week, primarily of which was discussion about the article that LSS put up, which calls into question the future reprint of Crucible of War from an unlimited standpoint. Um, so obviously there's been a lot of discussion back and forth about that as, as well there should be. However, a lot of the discussion seems to be on the semantics of whether the set's going to be reprinted in the future or not. And I think a lot of people are missing the whole point that the existence of this article in of itself is having a lot of the impacts which we discussed yesterday. Hello everyone, thanks for joining me again today. So we're just kind of going to blow through this because it, it is a holiday, but there's a lot of stuff that needs talked about that I think a lot of people are really, really just not getting, right? So again, what, what we're talking about, if you're not familiar, is this, this article on Crucible of War availability. There have been a lot of inquiries asking when CRU Unlimited will be released. At this time, there's no confirmed plan if or when Crucible of War Unlimited will be released, and then and then so on, right? So in, in this article, it, it doesn't right to be very clear it doesn't say that CRU unlimited will never come however that's missing the point right so a lot of people were like well Andrew you said that CRU is not coming you're just flat out wrong and we shouldn't be talking about this right and you, again you're, you're missing the point right the, the existence of this article in of itself is important because it's having the impact and I, I, we can go into you know kind of some detailed arguments on on why that actually matters uh, but but before we go into this, right, I want to be very clear about something. It it is an absolute and undeniable fact that any doubt on the future availability of any product such as this is at a minimum, at a minimum, going to have a short term impact on that said product's availability and the resulting demand for it. I mean, it makes sense by them posting this article. It says we may or right even in best case scenario reading this, it says we may or may not reprint. CRU. In that case, it automatically, automatically shifts the sealed versus singles market. It, it, it just does, right? It puts pressure on that. And I, I, there's a couple other points I want to hit as we go through this, but that is an un, like, that is, I mean, that is economics 101, right? That's not like, I, it doesn't matter if you want more, it doesn't matter which side of the camp of this you fall on. Like, that is an undeniable fact that by them coming out and just casting doubt, on whether or not it will ever happen w puts pressure on CRU availability. It, it, it does, right? Less people, because now that they know that CRU may or may not be reprinted, because there's now doubt that CRU may be reprinted, people are going to be more likely to shift into the sealed market and singles are going to go up. I mean, that's, I, I just don't see how one can argue that fact, right? And if you know, I, I think what happened over the last 18 hours was kind of a classic example of like when the internet goes wrong, right? Everyone was focused in on, well, the semantics of what Andrew said or the semantics of what the article says. That's what we could ding you for being wrong about, right? But but you're missing you're missing the point, right? So um, you know, the the point of this the same in in either direction, right? Whether or not we do CRU, do see CRU somewhere down the line, the fact is it's not going to come out anytime soon. And that in of itself, even in just the short term, has impacts on the market, right? And remember, we have roughly three, oh no, it's almost four, well, depending on exactly when, but it says April. So we have three to four months of time before Monarch hits. And yes, when Monarch hits, there will be a dip in need for CRU because there'll be other stuff, but that's three to four months away, right? So this, I mean, this is the fact that no one can find CRU right now and everybody's sitting on their CRU because 
of stuff. Like, I mean, the demand was high anyway, but like when this came out, it just kind of consolidated those positions. So either way, whether we see it sometime in the future or whether we never see it again, the short-term impact is certainly worth talking about, and it's it's a real thing. Um, the next is I actually do want to kind of go into this article, right? Because I mean, the semantics are important, right? It does say there's no confirmed plan, right? They do not say they're never going to do it, right? They say there's no confirmed plan if or when CRU will eliminate it will be released. But I, I want to be very clear about something. The, the way that they said this, the way that they said it matters, right? If they were to come, if they had come out and said there's currently no timeline for CRU Unlimited. That's a very different statement than saying there's no plan on if or when it's going to come, right? So w what this says is, what this is saying, the way it's written, is it's saying basically we haven't decided whether or not we have the ability or the desire to reprint CRU. They're saying we don't know if we're going to reprint CRU in unlimited format. That, that is what they're saying. Right? Now, if they'd come out and said, we don't know when it will be, or we don't know what the timeline for that is, that is more angling towards there being an unlimited, it's just having to figure out the logistics, versus this saying, we haven't even decided yet whether or not we're going to do it. Right? So I personally hope they do. Right? I mean, it, again, does, 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 it doesn't matter which camp you fall in. The fact of the matter is that this article in of itself, this statement in of itself, the publishing of this in of itself feeds into all of the things that we talked about in that previous video. So I, I understand the, the need and desire to go out and try and nitpick the little words or whatever, but even if you are the firm believer that CRU will eventually be printed and unlimited, that is best case scenario probably June, right? I mean, if, if there are no plans, they already know what their print plans are for Monarch. So, like, we're probably looking at, like, I shouldn't say June because that's too timeline-esque, but, like, it's probably best-case scenario early spring. Well, mid-spring, right? Because, I mean, technically April, I think, is early spring, somewhere around there, right? And you can ding me on that, too. But I, I, anyway, I, I think the point here of what I'm saying is is solid, right? So I grant maybe, maybe CRU will come, right? I, I'm in the camp that I don't think it will because of what they said here. Um, I also think that because of what they like at this point, if they, it, it be, I mean, I don't, I, to be clear, I actually don't care about the seal. Like if someone who bought a sealed box and sitting on it, loses money on it. Like I personally don't care. I personally don't. I'd rather see the set reprinted, but for some, I mean, the, the whole thing where they link the reprint philosophy on how these cards get reprinted and they're talking about availability, like they do consider that and they specifically say that in their reprint philosophy that they care about the collector's market. Now, I don't know if they necessarily care about the sealed collector's market, right? But the fact is, if they, after saying we don't think we're going, well, after saying we're not sure, right? Let's get the words technically right. After saying we're not sure whether or not we're going to reprint it, if they come back later and they do reprint it, there's going to be people out there who take it in the shorts. Now, again, I don't personally care, but those people are going to be upset, right? So we have people now who are upset that they're maybe not going to get CRU or that the very, or at a very minimum that they can't get CRU now, right? And to be clear, Unlimited is not going to fix that, although it would probably, actually, actually it would, right? Because if we knew, if we knew Unlimited was coming, there would probably be more boxes. There would probably be less boxes sitting on shelves and more in the market, which which would help a little, but not significantly, right? It, but 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 either way, I mean, I, I, I think I've gone through um, my my point on this. Um, and, you know, I, I don't I don't want to call out anybody specifically because, you know, everybody is entitled to their opinion, uh, but so am I, and I'm allowed to disagree with you, right? And th there was one individual on the Facebook who basically said this was an inflammatory article by LSS, and you reporting on it was not irresponsible. So I don't remember exactly what word to use, but he basically said, LSS is just feeding the fire by doing this. And, and I agree with that. But just to say that I don't have the right to report on this, right? Like in what world do you live in where a YouTube guy who makes like 85 cents per video, if that, right? In what world do I move markets by reporting on it, right? And like the problem's not gonna go away just because I don't report on it. So. Anyway, I just wanted to address that. I mean, like, you're, that's that's just irresponsible, and that's just crazy town. And you live in you live in imaginary land if you think that that's 
important. So, that, I mean, we're allowed to sit and talk about this, and it's important to talk about because, I mean, that's why we're here, right? We're all playing this game. We want to be a part of this game, and we want to enjoy it. And this does impact our enjoyment in, a, in either a positive or a negative sense, depending on which side of the fence you sit on. So, anyway, that's that's really my piece today. I, I mean, I just thought it was really important to, A, yes, get, I mean, I was pretty much in the we're never going to see CRU camp, and I, I openly 100% admit they do not close. They, they are not closing the door on that, right? 100% they don't close the door. But the existence of this in of itself is more toward, I believe, I believe the existence of this in of itself is more towards the negative than the positive, right? Especially with the way that they worded it. So again, we will we will see what happens in the future. Um, anyway, let's let's put this to bed. Um, I just wanted to thank you guys all for joining me. This this I think all of this needed said. At least I at least needed to say it. Um, I'll go back and you know try and do the best editing I can. Um, but again, to be very clear, thanks you guys for joining me. It is holiday. It's already holidays in many parts of the world. It's holiday here basically soon. Uh, so I just wanted to thank everybody. Wish everybody a happy holidays. Whatever you choose to or choose not to celebrate, uh, please be safe. Have a good time. If nothing else, guys, go commando.